Hey everyone and welcome on this week's episode of Living in South Coast Massachusetts. We are going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite things, wine. Cheers! guys and welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you are new here, thank you for joining. My name is Molly Armando. I am a real estate agent with residential properties and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things, wine. If you know me, you know that I love a good glass of red wine. And on the south coast of Massachusetts and Rhode Island, there are some really great wineries uh, that you definitely need to check out if you're in the area. So um, I'm going to be covering, there are many, many vineyards in the area, but I'm really just going to be focusing today on the ones that are located in south coast Massachusetts. So uh, there are also some really great wine tastings that you can partake in. I will also share the links to those as well. Some are right down the street from me, so I am super, super excited to share them with you guys. So before we get started and before we start talking about wine, I just want to say thank you. So thank you to my friends, my family, uh, all the people who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, it's hard to put yourself out there sometimes, but I know that there's a need to share how awesome this area is, not only to locals, you know, people who live here full time, but people all over the country. I've spoken with so many people and I've met new people through this channel, which is just crazy and it's awesome. And, you know, I think at the end of the day, if I can help someone, then it's all going to be worth it. So I just want to say thank you. And if you are interested in the content that I'm putting out, please hit the subscribe button so that you get notified each time I launch a new video. I launch one, at least I try to launch one every week, um, but covering anything and everything that the South Coast has to offer. So winemaking is no stranger to the coastal region of New England, and so much so that the area can be defined as the coastal wine trail. And if you are a wine enthusiast or you know, you're like me and you just like the taste of it, then I would highly recommend that you check out the Coastal Wine Trail Facebook page. Uh, give them a like. I mean, the vineyards and wineries that you can visit uh, along the coast of New England span from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, all the way down to the end of Connecticut. So today I'm just going to be focusing on the wineries that are located in the south coast um, of Massachusetts. Um, but if you have any questions, if you'd like to learn more, like I said, please check out the South, the Coastal Wine Trail Facebook page. Uh, I believe that their website is under construction right now, but you'll see that they're, they always host um, and post different events that you can visit. Um, so yeah, check them out. And I'll post the link in the comments below. The first stop on our wine tour is Carolyn Sakonet Vineyard, which is located in Little Compton, Rhode Island. And this vineyard is just beautiful. It was founded over 40 years ago. Uh, from what I'm told, it has the ideal climate and soil conditions to be one of the best vineyards in New England. They are well known for their Chardonnay, their Pinot Noir, their Vidal Blanc, uh, but it's just a really awesome place to sit outside, enjoy the outdoors. They have these big wooden Adirondack chairs that you can relax in. It's even a good place to bring the kids, let them run around outside while you sip on a nice glass of, of Pinot. And um, I will also include the link to their event calendar that you can check out. Obviously, you know, they have a lot more events in the summer than they do the winter months, but uh, yeah, definitely check out their event calendar. And if you haven't made it to Carolyn Sakonet Vineyard in Little Compton, definitely worth your while to check out. Stop number two on our coastal wine tour in South Coast Massachusetts is Westport Rivers. I have been to this vineyard more times than I can count. It's just a spectacular place, whether you are there in the summer, the winter. Uh, in the summers, they have these summer, I think they call them the sunset uh, concert series. So 
You can sip on your glass of wine in an Adirondack chair, relax while watching uh, a concert and jamming out to some awesome music. It's a great place to bring kids and let them run around. Uh, and then in the winter, they have bonfires. You can sip on some mulled cider. It's, it's just a really awesome place. And they're really good at hosting events that are family friendly. Uh, in the fall, I, they have hay rides. I haven't brought my kids to them, but um, yeah, I know they have hay rides and they also are affiliated with, if you have a beer drinker in your life, maybe you love drinking beer and going to local breweries, uh, they are affiliated with Buzzards Bay Brewing, which is right around the corner. Uh, so maybe a future video, I'll do a, um, a video highlighting different breweries in the area, but uh, yeah, Buzzards Bay Brewery is affiliated with West Port Rivers. So if you haven't, definitely recommend checking them out. Stop number three on our coastal wine tour is a relatively new vineyard located in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. It is Running Brook Vineyard. So this vineyard was founded in 1998. So like I said, relatively speaking, it's one of the newer vineyards to come to this area and people are just welcoming them with open arms. They offer uh, wine by the glass, they offer flight tastings, uh, and they're open year round, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, basically seven days a week. Uh, they also have live entertainment on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, I've actually been to this vineyard. I attended a concert there. So they rented out the whole area to um, a large band and it was it was a lot of fun. And uh, it's right close, easy access off the highway. So you're not driving around for, you know, a long time looking for it. It's a great spot and their uh, Pinot Noir is to die for. So highly recommend you check them out if you haven't done so already already. Stop number four. So not a vineyard per se, but it's a really great restaurant if you are looking to have flights. It's Cork Wine and Tapas Bar in New Bedford, Massachusetts. And fun fact, uh, I actually used to work at Cork uh, in high school and or maybe it was college. But yeah, I didn't last very long because I didn't really know anything about wine. So I just knew that I liked to drink it. So uh, yeah, I didn't last very long there. But anyways, now as an adult, I can fully, fully appreciate how great their wine flights are. Um, I can't remember the exact price off the top of my head, but it's relatively inexpensive for a full five uh, set of flights there. And you can pick white, red, rosé, whatever it is. Uh, and if you haven't visited this area of New Bedford, I mean, it's, it's a must. This building is super old, all made out of stone. Uh, and you can go downstairs and reserve a table in this it feels like you're in a cave and it's just an awesome, an awesome building to check out. Uh, they also have an, an upstairs space that you can rent out for private events. So if you have, let's say, I don't know, a retirement party or a birthday party, uh, they rent out this space all the time. And it's just a little bit different from your conventional, you know, let's say a, a room in a restaurant. It's just, it has so much character and it's, it's a really cool location. I mean, your guests will definitely have a great time. Um, I've been up to parties there that have DJs and they cater it. So highly recommend checking out Cork Wine and Tapas Bar. I know that they oftentimes have live music as well, uh, but check out their website and pay them a visit. And rounding out with Stop number five on our coastal wine tour is Farm and Coast Market. So if you haven't checked out Farm and Coast, you definitely need to, whether you are looking for locally butchered meat, cheeses, they have the local breads. I mean, it's just a fabulous place to check out. They serve lunch, dinner. Um, but one thing that they have started doing within the past few years are these monthly wine tastings. So I believe that they do them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And it's an awesome way to meet new people in the community. I did it uh, the, for the first time a couple weeks ago, and it was fabulous. I think it was uh, a little over $100 for uh, the couple. I think it may have been $125-ish um, for the couple and you and one other person. And it comes with five pairings, five food options and five different wines to go with it to taste. And you also get to take home four bottles of wine at the end of it all. So 
I mean, it's a really good deal. It's awesome to try new foods. And I mean, I, like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't know a lot about wine. So Gary, the sommelier, was able to clearly explain it, but just not really overcomplicate how um, the wine it was made and how it you know, is paired with the food. So I thought it was really, really interesting. And again, if you are, you know, a novice drinker like I am, or you are super experienced and have a refined palate for wine, um, Farming Coast would be a really great option for you to check out and book a time with Gary. He's a really awesome guy, highly recommend, and he, he knows his stuff. Thank you guys for joining. I so appreciate it. I hope that this content is helpful. And if so, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you like any of these places? Have you visited them? Tell me what you think. And uh, let me know if you have any ideas for future videos because I'm always, always on the hunt. And uh, not gonna lie, I may have finished my, my glass of wine <laughs> uh, in the process of recording this. But hey, that's all right. That's what it's for, right? Well, thank you guys. And yeah, hope you have a great day. See ya.